What a fantastic place. MDSM. And what do we have here? I'm gonna show you MX3D. That's the place where they do really interesting 3D projects. 3D printing. Let's first look at a product which you can create with a 3D printer now. So this is a bike. And yeah, that, that's the only thing with video. You cannot show how this feels. This is really unbelievable interesting. A bike completely 3D printed. Metal. Okay, if you don't know what to do with a 3D printer, you first start to create art. So this is really... And this is not by very expensive printers, this is by normal printers. And lots of interesting people are here, like Talia. And look at this. Everything here is cool. Let's see what kind of robots are here, which can basically... So this is a welding robot. And these are not very expensive. They also look a little old, but they still work fantastically. And all the kids are really interested to see what's this. So, and now we're here today because of the 3D printed bridge. Now, look at this. It is already extremely popular with the kids, but this thing is gigantic. And you cannot, you cannot really believe, you know, that six robots, no, three, four robots print for six months, print this whole thing. It's huge, but especially it's beautiful. And I want to find out what, how you can do this, but it feels very flat, very elegant, very beautiful. And look what you can make if you just make a 3D design. And here we have an inspired person. How long did it take to print this printer, Alec? That took years. Because, this one? yeah, in order to print it, it took years because they had to keep stopping to do other projects, to get more money, to continue with this one. Oh, gosh. Now, how long would it take technically? Yeah. Four robots, four of these not so huge robots, but yeah. industrial robots, uh, working for a month and a half continuously. So for a second, uh, second one can be here in about six months. Oh, less than, less than, two months. Two you got months. the money, they'd get it for you in two months. Because they print, use eight printer, eight uh, robots. No, you use four robots that view it, and uh, and they get better and better and faster and faster with their software all the time. Okay. Now, what? Why was this so dif difficult? What has? What have they learned now that they can do the next time much easier? Well, look at the look at the material. Yeah, look at the material. Right. You cannot look, look at the material out, because you have to every, feel it. No, you have every to feel line it. is different. Every line is different. So it, every, every the robot comes and it does one line yeah. and it does the next line. And how do you know that next line is really gonna gonna match up perfectly with the old one? And you can see by what it's laying down here. In some cases, it laid down too much. In other cases, it laid down a little bit too little. Right? It's but it's just software. Software will just uh, yeah, yeah, pick somebody, it up. Somebody has to write software. Okay. Okay, so writing it's this like and this, knowing this exactly doesn't come with Microsoft Office, right? You know, you've got to. <laughs> and not with you know, Autodesk uh, software. No, also not with Autodesk. So Autodesk does some of this stuff, but you know, you want to do it just this particular way. You've got to develop your own, which okay. is what they've done. If you compare it to normal ways, I mean, a, a bridge like this is very expensive the first time, but the second time, how much would a, br a bridge like this cost? I don't know how much it cost either the first or the second time, but it remains an expensive technology. There's a lot of because it's completely a lot of robot custom made. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And especially yeah. people's time. No, it's more the robot time at this point. Yeah. The people time has been invested in the development of the software, but it's, it's now it's really the robots uh, having to spend their doing their dance for hour after hour after hour to, to build the thing up. There's some people time still. It's not a perfectly flawless, reliable function, but... Uh, okay, yeah. well, we're gonna... Alec is gonna talk a little bit more about the process, how this works, but you can just only, you have to come here and feel it. And where is this printer, where is this bridge going to be? I don't know if you can get it with your camera, but you'll see a map up there on yeah. the Oudersides Achterbergval. Oudersides Achterbergval, okay. Yeah. And when is it going to be there? Well, they're rebuilding the Kade. Yeah. First they've got to finish that and then we got to get through permitting and then so you know it takes still a while long. So six okay. months, a year, yes. two years? Six months a year. Six months a year, okay. Look, how does it feel to be up there? Look how beautiful. Okay. Look how absolutely cool. Okay, I'm going up. 
And this, somebody's gonna pick up this thing and then take it up there. First, but first let me take a look. And it's so unbelievable nice. And let's see what they, they, this doesn't feel. I wonder what that kind of material that is. But this feels really beautiful. And there's a lot of sensors inside the bridge. It will, every trembling, every walk over, every person who's basically interested will be registered. There's of course face recognition. The bridge will know who walks over it, who will be there every day. He or she probably will answer, say hello. This will become a living thing. Look how many cables are in here. This is not a static bridge. This is an intelligent living being. Lots of processors, lots of artificial intelligence. <laughs> now let's see what Alec, who basically has been involved with this, he's gonna talk about it. Oh, I wanna see the printer. See, this is a pr typical a printer like that. Looks very elegant, but it's not very expensive. Okay, everybody's going, look. We're gonna see the presentation. So how did this bridge get built? Who came up with the algorithm? What can happen with this kind of stuff? You've seen the bridge itself. Now this is the design. Reality, digital and physical are merged. Kijk. Who's taking pictures of who? That's it. Being at the right place at the right time for for really cutting edge technological development and complete where Okay, and what is it a photo for my garden? A picture. Yeah. <laughs> the making of <laughs> We have a picture for <laughs> Filippo. How many parts does the bridge contain? Ah, that's a good what? question. Let's say about a uh, hundred. Okay, maximum. so all these robots are printing parts and then welded together by hand, I guess? Human persons, yeah. Okay, so if we look at uh, there, the, uh, the thing, uh, how big are the parts? Every, how many one meters? One meter, one meter. One meter yep. per, par, per yep. print, yeah, the, yeah, the robot yeah. can do that? Correct. Okay, and how long does the robot take to do one part? That's a good question. How long does the robot take to make one part? <laughs> Not true. No, a day. Uh, no, no, no. More like uh, four, two weeks. Two weeks. Let's say two weeks for, for the biggest part. For the yeah. biggest part. For yeah. the biggest part. Yeah. The and then uh, part. there's other parts. The the, the 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 button of it is that just plain steel that's not printed plain steel that has not been printed correct okay so now you've taken uh, um, a long time to print it if you want to make a second one uh, would that be you know faster. two months six Always months faster. a year yeah, yeah, yeah. no uh, this take around six months so the next one could take four Four months. Yeah. Oh, this was Hopefully. six months. The next four. Yeah. And it will be. Uh, it is easier. There is always a limit, of course. So now that we have this design, could mm -hmm. I put this design in my own printer at home and make a hundred times smaller version of the, exactly the same? Absolutely yes. And is the design published on the uh, internet so that I can take it out of my uh, I, I 3D printer? I don't know about that. That's you uh, the designer made it. It's yeah. not uh, MX3D. No. There is a course. specific designer that made this bridge. Ah, and he has copyright. Oh yeah, but you should, should publish it for a scale of one to fifty yeah, or something yeah, yeah. like maybe that. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Is this the most interesting project you've ever done at Max 3 d um, It's the biggest. It's the biggest. We did many interesting projects. This is uh, definitely the biggest of them. Okay. Thank you.